By the time he was released, the original Chucky could duck under pallets really quickly and regain full control of his movement, sometimes leading to unavoidable hits, as well as being able to do 180 degree flicks around corners, which was really fun and oppressive. Both of these features, as well as a few other things, were removed from Chucky, and you would think that this would be a nerf that would have made him drop down from the tier list, but in fact, he's still really high up there, arguably even higher than before. With his new shorter cooldown, he's now comparable to Spirit in how how able he is to put survivors against the rope and be very difficult to shake off in chase. To really test whether or not these two characters are actually on par, my buddy Hens put together a showcase with some insane players. In this particular round, we had one of the strongest spirit players of all time, Ray, play an absolutely deadly round. With a very aggressive build, she managed to get someone into basement and things went downhill from there. Survivors were constantly against the rope, her faces were extremely precise, prompting all sorts of reactions from me, and ultimately they all died with only two gens remaining. How could Chucky really build enough pressure to get a similar result, considering that he cannot be this explosive and he doesn't really have any insta-down options? Well, that's what Numi had to answer and he found definitely a way to do this. And you might want to take notes because what Numi did in this match is probably what is going to become meta in Dead by Daylight very soon. I'll explain why in a second. Let's see how the match started. Dealing with competitive survivors is to look at their name and see that they have a heart. Wait, one of them changed out? We've seen yep. a switch at. Oh, okay. Well, that person doesn't love anyone, apparently. Oh. And Chucky X, bud. And oh, that is an <gasps> aggressive build. That wow. build. That build's taking me back like four years. Ooh, unfortunately, a survivor gets spotted immediately. Yeah. Looks like we are on Nancy already. And that is a fast hit. That's exactly what we wanted, right? Yeah. Yeah. As you mentioned, if killer M1s then the power is immediately available. But I think that Nancy got a speed boost. She was way too far. Either Overcome or Life or some other form of exhaustion must have been used. And now the killer is finally, finally catching up. Yeah. Add-ons are slightly faster recovery and Mangold. Two uh, hexes get done so quickly. But now wow. the killer still has Corrupt and Eruption is the plan B. Interesting here. What are we going to see? Could this be a hit? Nasty, nasty hit, but survivors did take advantage of the extended chase to get rid of Undying and Ruin both. Sure, but this hook is right in the middle. Do we choose to go basement? Looks like it. We have a similar start mm -hmm. to the game, I guess. Mm -hmm. Basement relatively early, but yeah, Ruin Undying instantly gone. Mm -hmm. We still have Eruption though, and that needs to play a big role here. Yeah, it used to be a really popular strategy to have Pop and Ruin back in the day, basically as a plan A, plan B. This yeah. kick on eruption will make it regress if a down happens. That's why it's applied even though the gen is barely done. It's interesting to see when uh, Chucky players use stealth. Oh, they found someone. <gasps> M1 without using power means the power is immediately available. That's this it. could be a down. This could be a down. That pallet's gone yeah. at the crane. Interesting Ooh. pathing from the survivor. Definitely he's looking trying. to delay this. Yeah, they're delaying as much as possible. So at this point, a really interesting strategy is being used by Numi. Instead of hooking multiple survivors, which opens up possibilities of certain perks coming into play, he will begin to slug every survivor other than the one that he initially hooked until that survivor is out of the way. This hybrid slugging slash hooking and tunneling strategy, I think might be in the future of Dead by Daylight, unless some things change. Let's see how it worked out for him. But the Anog is coming through and they're dying all the way in the corner. This is the lack of mobility here. Yeah. Using power to get back as fast as possible. Okay, now keep in mind, uh, the mangle mix means that if this unhook gets interrupted during the heal, you could deny the heal entirely. Is that what our killer is trying to do? I was a bit surprised they didn't go for the pickup there. Looks like they definitely want to get back on that Nancy. I mean, with 70 second hook stages, I think you need to adapt. You cannot just be by the hook anymore. You need to actually pressure the map and force people to do things because now another survivor has, has to rotate around and get the pick. But Nancy using her distance incredibly well. Mm -hmm. Interesting pre-drop. I think that's a down, 100%. Like, one thing you can do against that, by the way, if this survivor goes wide and you aim like that, you cannot hit them anymore. Right. That's a risk you take if you want a 180 around the loop. Yeah, it it's a bit like uh, back in the day with the J flicking uh, yeah. lights. Um, okay, we really showed that Shaq who's boss. Kind of looking, what gens are they doing? Can you maybe... Wow. Oh. Wow, that's a good... No eruption okay. applied to any gen. A pallet pre-dropped? Are you are you seeing this? Oh. Did you see that they pre-dropped the pallet? 
Yeah, they did to get all the people. If Nancy, ooh. <laughs> Renato basically just became the de facto janitor of this team. Now has to pick up two survivors from the ground. Nancy, in the meantime, has to buy as much time as possible because with eruption and some of these gens, this killer could easily overpower them in a 3v1. Yeah, yeah. But like this, look at that. Oh, oh she barely makes that window. Buying yeah. a little bit of time and the team really needs it. Yeah. Now they're all back up, but Nancy needs to get a little bit more here. For the team. That's crazy. She did she did her best learning from her previous chase and tried to delay the pallet, but I mean the thing about Spirit and Chucky is that when they're this close to you, you sometimes are in literal loose loose situations if they play it right. Yeah. Using uh, power from ability, probably desperate to interrupt anyone that could be healed. Uh the interruption would be really valuable because you would make all the progress go away with the purple add-on. Okay, yeah, I might be mistaken, but we are almost in the very same position yes. where Ray was in last time, literally. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, does he get this survival stuck? No, that's not a hit. Staying at that pallet though. Oh, fake breaking it. Powers back up. I really like the way they uh, oh. Numi angles the camera to get the most uh, yeah. out of the out of the turn. But yes, this is if... not as easy as it looks. It really isn't. No, 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 no. It's so easy to get stuck, and we've seen that before. This is super interesting. I, I think before picking up, our killer might want to apply more eruption and and make sure the gens are not popping. Even though he took a completely different route from uh, from our spirit player, the results are mighty comparable so far. Use the small size there. And yeah. No. I think that was I, I think that was not meant to happen. I don't think he yeah. meant to. <gasps> oh, both survivors on screen right now is a huge, huge deal. Yeah, but that means he knows where the pickups coming from. But mm -hmm. they, the survivors also have like a lot of gens progress here, and the <gasps> shaker is still down. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. Keep in mind, mm -hmm. Renato is to the killer's left, very far. This this might actually end up surpassing. Uh, spirit, because the spirit was uh, two gens left, and this could end sooner. I have no idea how this happened. I have to say, the, the, the strategic decision to slug, I think, four people so far has been kind of crazy. Yeah, it, it definitely worked out, though. He got so much pressure mm -hmm. from that, because he can consistently get rid of those health states, and the survivors have to pick, right? You yeah. can't just have, like, multiple people slug, because, like, yeah. nobody's on gens at that point. So you actually... <gasps> There's Ooh, a pilot there, there's a pilot there! No, this is the double window tile. Okay, the survivors managed to kind of reset the pressure here, but the eruption is on all of those gens, and Numi's probably looking forward to downing one survivor and making them all blow up. Oh my god. Ooh. I love the way the third person's used so aggressively. That's a hit. Yeah. Absolutely nothing you can do. Unlike yeah. Spirit, which makes us hold our breath, here we already know ahead of time what the result's gonna be. And that um, is just a nasty, nasty sound. Honestly, Keep in mind, like, mm -hmm. Chucky's with a small height. He's he's a bit he's a bit stronger in those situations. He's harder <laughs> to like actually grasp where he is exactly. Yeah, and no. At the proper time. <laughs> like you're like we we've seen it before. Like you're gonna get hit no matter what. Like he can. It's a bit like Oni when you're on a very small tile, and he will literally react to whatever you're doing. Ooh. Renato seemingly had balance landing. Slow vault, yeah. Do not trigger the sound effect, and he's stuck on that pallet. Oh, that was a great play from Renato, who found a little gap in the rock. But still gets hit. Yeah, the survivors, they need to somehow get out of the snowball situation. Everyone is injured. He's not even applying not even rock. He's not yeah. lose that pressure. This is awkward. Uh, Meg cannot come from the rescue uh, by virtue of being injured. And if the ace comes, he will have to leave because if he exchanges, he's dead on hook, which they cannot afford. So they need to be healing somewhere. If, if Meg is healed in about two seconds, that will mean they were both together. If not, ooh, how did they manage this? I mean, Meg, wow. Can you, can you get much done here though? So looks like we're going for Meg, but Meg deciding that Dying in the corner is probably the right play. But do they have any progress here? Do they get anything done? Going for the slug once more. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mech has never been hooked. 
So um, I guess the play now is to regress gens until we find Ace, and then it's just a countdown from there. There's no way they can get anything done. The best case scenario for these survivors is for one of them to grab the Hatch, but even then, it would be a three gen, so... Actually, there has to be probably some one gen though, right? What is the Ace doing? The Ace uh, has to be doing again. The there Ace be, probably is sneaking his way into the down mech, but uh, like... <laughs> They, they just don't have enough hands to, to block all these punches that Chucky is throwing. I, I see this. It's going to be very slow, but he's going to choke them. Is that actually... <laughs> it has to be one gen that is like... Is that, oh, that's, that's yeah, that's it, the right? gen that, that you, I think, okay. correctly guess the ace was working on. Damn. Yeah. The, but even even oh. then, that's the it's, it's very similar to the spirit game. That's the one gen that even if they do it, like the others are so close. And this is probably the beginning of the you end. Don't. Wow. Actually. All right. Yeah, very few misses from Numi, to be honest. Almost every slice and dice landed. Okay, so this is good and bad. It's good because you didn't get hit. It's bad because you gave up the pallet. And yeah, GG's. Wow. All right, I'm cheering for the survivors. I hope they hit some skill checks or something and they match the result. If they are a bit lucky and they're and they're focusing on doing the gen together, they could finish it. Oh, it doesn't even look done. Oh my god, I don't think they finish it. Unless Chucky checks the wrong gen, I don't think they finish it. Oh! Doesn't look like it, no. Run, Chucky, run! Oh my it's gonna god! Time? It's gonna be a tie! It's gonna be a tie! Chucky, where are you? I'm the gen. They're doing your gen, son! No! Oh my goodness. Okay. Very similar performance, honestly. Yeah. From both killers. Okay, well, now, needless to say, after a bit of uh, slugging to secure the fourth kill, this is very likely going to end in a very, very similar place. So, I don't know exactly how, but <laughs> even though I just watched it, but Numi has matched the result, or almost improved the result, uh, from Ray, which already was yeah. just so unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. And with that incredible performance, Numi had shown us how it's possible for a Chucky to tie and almost beat the result of a spirit that was already playing in an excellent manner. This was not the only time they would tie. In other matches, we saw both killers get a similar result. And for the research that I'm doing for my killer tier list, this was really, really useful. It really does seem like Chucky and Spirit are very close to each other and pretty high up there. The rest of the tier list is a bit more complicated, but it will be done very soon and available on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to show some love to the people involved in this video in the links in the description.